you need to match your text to your learners. So getting to know your learners, the types of things they like to do in school, out of school, the types of reading they like to do. Do they like to do science fiction? Do they like to do mysteries? Do they like to read adventure? Do they like to read poetry? Do they like to read uh, you know, written spoken word? Do they like to write spoken word? Do, what do they like to write? So getting to know your learners is the first place to start in matching your learners to texts. And then you can think about what match can you make between what they like to do, what they like to read, and BIPOC authors. Black, indigenous, people of color, authors and illustrators. Because there is a wide variety of authors and illustrators who have very many talents around different types of literature. So if you're feeling a little uncomfortable, like, all right, well, how, who do I start with? How do I start? I would just suggest that you expand your knowledge of these authors and illustrators by following one on social media, and they will shout out other authors and illustrators, and that's a way to expand your knowledge of who is out there and what they're writing. Another way is to go to some of the professional organizations, the American Library Association, the National Council of Teachers of English, and the International Literacy Association all have book choices. The ALA is known for its Caldecott and Newbery Awards, but they also have the Coretta Scott King Awards and other awards that highlight BIPOC issues. They're either issues or books written by BIPOC authors and illustrators. So you just add them to your curriculum, just as you would any other new book, rather than saying, oh, it's Multicultural Day, and today we're going to read a book by. But just bring that literature into your classroom just because it's good literature, and you've enjoyed reading it, and you think your learners will enjoy reading it. Then you want to think about how you discuss it. So there may be some issues that are brought up in these books that are unfamiliar to your students. They may be set in contexts that are unfamiliar. And so then you can create conversation with the text. What it, how is this the same or different from how we live, how we act, what we believe in, what we value? And so you're not making any judgments. You're just taking that critical stance of how does this fit in with our perspectives and how can we learn from the other perspectives? Because regardless of where you are in life, you're going to run across people who are different from you. And how you learn to interact with difference is very important. And you as teachers and school leaders and school librarians really can set the stage for how students think about the other, however the other is defined, and make the other a friend who is near and dear. <laughs>